Y'all, I don't know about you, but I am the queen of organization. Well, I use that term loosely because I organize so that it makes sense to me. I don't think it makes sense to anybody else. Organization is not my problem. Staying organized, keeping things organized. Now that is something I have yet to figure out. I can move things around and create all these intricate systems, but the problem is that I never remember the logic I use when I set the system up. (laughs) So things just kind of end up in random places, like within minutes, literally. I can't seem to keep anything organized. And case in point is my pantry. My pantry is a reflection of my inner self on its worst day because it is a white hot mess. Oh my goodness. And I try so hard. I try to organize things. I try to move them around so they look better and they make more sense. But obviously my husband has different opinions about where the protein powder should go because within 24 hours, the whole thing looks completely different. And all of the blood, sweat, and tears, okay, I'm being dramatic. All of the time and energy I've put into organizing my pantry goes out the window. And it seemed like I was organizing it on a week to week basis. And I was like, dude, what is wrong with you? Why can't you keep your pantry organized? It's not that hard. So in a last ditch effort to try and solve for this problem one last time, I went on amazon.com where we all go to solve our life dilemmas. (laughs) And I started searching for, you know, the organization system that was going to change my life, that was going to make all of my disorganization problems disappear. And that's when it hit me. I thought to myself, wait a minute, why am I trying to solve my disorganization problem by adding more stuff to it? When in reality, the more I keep adding to this problem, the bigger it gets. And that's when I had my very Captain Obvious epiphany that I should actually be getting rid of stuff instead of spending all my time and energy trying to organize it to make it look smaller or more compact or prettier. I just need to get rid of a whole bunch of crap. And to be honest, I have not cleaned out my pantry in about four years. Please don't judge. So I decided at that point that I didn't need the latest, greatest organizational tool or caddy system from Amazon. What I needed was a deep purge. That is what I needed to do. So y'all, I got on YouTube and I searched for someone who could inspire me to declutter my pantry. And I don't mean somebody like Marie Kondo who has a 17 step system for folding sweaters. God love her. I needed somebody who was relatable and that would inspire me and I found her. So this week's video is brought to you by the Carla project. She is somebody I just came across on YouTube and I loved her decluttering videos because they were just so relatable and down to earth and she tells a good story. So I propped her up in my kitchen on the iPad and I went to town and you know what? She acted like a body double for me. If you're not familiar with body doubling, that's a process that a lot of ADHDers use just having like the the presence of somebody else in your room, either live or virtually, to just keep you engaged in the task that you're doing so that you don't get off track. And that's exactly what Carla did as I went through my declutter project. So thank you, Carla, for your inspiration. It was really helpful. So on that note, I will give you the play-by-play of my pantry declutter in case you too need the inspiration to get off your tushy and go clean out a drawer or a cupboard or a pantry, or God forbid the garage. That's another one that's gonna happen eventually, but I'm just, I'm not emotionally there yet. (laughs) So off to the pantry we go. It is a hot mess. Please don't judge. I'll see you on the other side. for this project because I'm already overwhelmed. So I am pulling up one of my favorite decluttering YouTubers, The Carla Project, and I'm going to learn all about how decluttering is changing her life, mistakes and growth, because I need it. Yay. You can watch her too.
And that was my declutter experience in a nutshell. It took me probably like two hours from start to finish and I got rid of so much stuff. And the best part about this is that my pantry three weeks later, because I did this three weeks ago, it still looks amazing. It still looks organized. I walk into it, I open the door and I go, ah, because I just feel so calm. And that's something that I've learned about myself, my high anxiety self. When my space is clutter free, I just feel so freaking good. I have this illusion that my life is under control, whether that's true or not. <laughs> but anyways, it really does just move energy and make me feel better. And Carla was sharing the same thing in the video that I was listening to as I did my own declutter. So I hope this video gave you a little inspiration to get your declutter on. And if you'd like to see me declutter another space, then let me know, drop in the comments below, help me with all the declutter things, and I'd be happy to oblige. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.